Okay, we are going to do a what's in my bag special edition trekking, hiking, multi-day photography uh, trips. Um, everything I have in this bag, the bag itself and things you generally need when either on a longer trip than just one day or in the mountains. Uh, all of this gear, this is all my own. I bought this bag with my own money last week and this isn't sponsored nor endorsed by anybody. Okay, so let's start with the bag. This is the Osprey Kestrel 68. Now in all my years of photography and hiking and camping, I really struggled to find a bag that was big enough, but not too big. And that was, that was just technical enough to be able to hold everything it would need. And I think this bag may be the one I haven't tested it with camping gear yet. However, uh, for this past three days, trekking in the Alps, you know, 13, 14, 15 kilometers a day, over very mountainous terrain. Um, it's been an absolute charm. So let's look at the bag and see what's inside. So when you're looking at buying a bag for both hiking and photography, you need to think about a couple of things, two things in particular. Uh, one, you have to make sure that the bag has side straps. That's straps that will attach things to the side of your bag. So things such as trekking poles can go on one side and on the other side, you're going to need to put your tripod on there, which is what I have here. So that is the first thing you should look for when buying a hiking bag. Second thing you need to look for is a separate compartment on the bottom of the bag. Because a lot of bags will call this a sleeping bag compartment or something like this. But this is where I like to keep my camera gear. So this is my camera insert, which is actually out of my Lowepro Pro Rover 45. Uh, but that bag's only 45 litres and is nowhere near big enough for a trip like this. And inside of this bag, I have a 5D Mark IV, 70 to 200 lens, 24 to 70, little GoPro, some cleaning cloths, filtering, cable release, little bits and pieces like that, just to basically have everything I will need for a shoot in one bag. And that sits comfortably in the bottom compartment off this bag. It really is perfect fit. This Osprey bag also has a stretchy compartment on the front of the bag, which holds a map and compass essential when hiking anywhere. Always have a map and a compass. I also have a GPS watch. This is a Garmin Fenix 3 GPS watch. It's excellent, but you should never rely on this alone. You should always take a map and compass. It's just common sense. It really is. On the side of the bag, I've got more stretchy pockets on either side. There's a stretch pocket on this side as well. That's good for holding water bottles and things like that. However, it also has a space for a reservoir on the back of the bag. And that sits on the outside of the bag, which is great because if there's a leak, it doesn't get all of the stuff inside of the bag wet. Very handy. I should also say at this point, if you are hiking at any kind of altitude in the mountains, sunglasses, very important. When I pack this bag, I always make sure that the important items are on the top so you have quick access. So it can get super cold really quickly anywhere in the outdoors, anywhere in the world, storms can roll in. So I keep an insulated jacket just on the top of the bag. And when you're standing still for hours waiting for the light, you're gonna get cold. Even if it's warm, you're still gonna wanna be comfortable. This little lightweight insulated jacket works a charm. Waterproof, so I have waterproof jacket and waterproof trousers. Keep them in a separate luggage bag. I keep everything in separate bags because otherwise stuff just gets everywhere and you're digging through your bag trying to get everything out. It just doesn't work. So I really love these little luggage bags. They're dead cheap. You get them off Amazon. I'll stick a link below. I'll stick a link to pretty much everything below. So if you want to have a closer look or you want to buy something, great. And they're affiliate links as well. So I get a little three or 4% commission which helps me out massively. I have another camera insert, but I like to call this my bag of power. And inside here is basically batteries for the drone, batteries for my 5D Mark IV, the G5X, which is this one, and a couple of AA batteries, and as well as that, a couple of power banks. Now, I should say the mountain huts that I've been staying at do have power, but you don't wanna get caught out in the middle of a hike. So it's always worth bringing a little power bank with you just so you can charge either your phone or your little camera battery on the go. Um, yeah, definitely 
a handy investment. A dry bag. Now inside of this dry bag is a clean, dry change of clothes. Um, a hat, a buff, gloves, just little things that are so important and can make all the difference with your comfort. You know, it's in a dry bag inside this bag because if we get caught in a deluge, um, the last thing you want getting wet is your change of clothes because it can actually save your life and just make you incredibly comfortable to have, you know, a nice dry, clean change of clothes. So um, I would always put spares inside a dry bag. Memory cards, always bring more memory cards than you ever think you're gonna need. You know, in a place like this, you can shoot thousands of pictures, but as well as that, memory cards fail all the time. A travel towel. And if you're having a shower, a little wash bag with a few miniature toiletries, toothpaste, um, toothbrush, a little bit of shower gel, a little bit of shampoo, and most importantly of all, sun cream, factor 50 every time. Wow, there's an eagle. Oh, I can't show you this, but an eagle has just flown. Oh, that is an eagle, isn't it? Yeah. An eagle has just flown overhead. Ah, oh, so good. It's literally just. And I can't show you, but I guess I'll keep that experience to myself. And a bag with some snacks chocolate bars, trail bars, trail mix. Energy. You need energy when hiking, camera gear. If you're out taking photographs, if you're hungry, then you know, that can stem creativity, stem the flow of creativity. So it's always better to have more food than you think you'll need. This bag has the um, top lid, which holds in a lot of gear. In here, there's a, a pouch on the inside of the top lid, which is great for storing valuables like a wallet or car keys or anything like that. I have my wallet, even though we're in the mountains, the mountain huts do sell beer. Very important to have a wallet. Now the lid of this bag, the lid of this Osprey has two sections. The top section is relatively small, but you can fit in things like snacks, quick access, um, always important. But the next section of this lid is just huge. So in here, wait for this guys, and there's room to spare. There is so much room in here. I have a Mavic Pro charger, a Mavic Pro drone, all of my camera filters and that's all in the top lid which means if i want to fly the drone or take a picture it's just instant access i'm not digging around inside of my bag trying to uh, find those and this bag what else does this bag have it has a huge side pocket look at that it's like a gaping gaping pocket it's massive and in here i've got a first aid kit a water filter now i have a water bladder but you don't want to bring more than two liters because it gets too heavy but you will need more than two liters now if you know you're in a, an area with fresh flowing water always bring a water filter it's a great weight saver and life saver a whistle you might fall down a ravine and you need to <laughs> blow for um attention a head torch you always need a head torch even if you're not planning on going out at night if you get caught short this could very well save your life a multi-tool this is a leatherman skeletal it's a pair of pliers it's a screwdriver and it's a knife uh, very very handy for fixing tripods and filter holders and screwing camera tripod plates onto the bottom of your camera all very handy I think we're getting there with this bag. Um, I don't know if there's much more in here that I can show you. It comes with a rain cover um, in the bottom of the bag. If you've got a hiking camera bag or any camera bag, you need a rain cover because we have been rained on a lot on this three day trip. Now we are here in early July, which is the wet season, but even in the more stable drier periods, such as August and September, you can still get caught out in a shower and you really don't want your stuff getting wet. This bag also, has well, it's got tons of webbing and straps so you can attach lots and lots and lots to the bag it has access side access to the main compartment of the bag so if you need to access anything in the bottom you can do that and as i said before it holds a water bladder on the outside of the bag between the um, back support and the bag itself and that means if your bladder bursts um, there's a lot less chance of everything inside getting soaked so that's quite cool. And that's everything. That's, uh, this bag has been perfect for my needs on this trip. And all the gear, although it's not all photography gear, 
you do need it all to safely take photographs in this kind of environment. So, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to look closely at any more of the gear, there are links below, as I mentioned before. So, yeah, thanks a lot. And until next time, bye for now. So, you can expect an honest review of everything. Actually, I'm not going to do a review, am I? Expect honesty all the way through. Or you should. Oh, I can't stop saying that. All right, stop after it's all been bought with my own money. All of this gear is my own gear and has been bought, purchased, bought, purchased. I find these things so difficult.